Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am DM Bloodworth and as you can see by the graphics, uh, I am just doing a test. I am uh, just testing out my upload speed. I've been having some trouble with uploading uh, video content, so I've uh, been very, very slow. Had to keep on restarting it and everything. So I have a tech coming today to check it out, but uh, I wanted to just do a pre-test to see um, if I'm still experiencing that issue before he gets here. So uh, this is going to be a really short one. I am uh, I'm just going to test this out and probably run it around five minutes or so. So as you can see, I've been using uh, QRC codes. So you can scan this top one at the top right hand corner to subscribe to this channel and the one in the bottom left hand corner is to follow this channel on Twitter or X however you want to call it uh, so as always uh, at the end of all of my videos I ask you to please remember to subscribe and like and comment and share and get the alerts so that you're aware of new uploads uh, I am going to post this online so that you can uh, and you can see it as well because that's the whole theory of the uploading um, uh, to make sure it goes up there. So uh, just to give you some heads up, my uh, I'm doing a live stream this evening at 7 o'clock uh, Eastern Time, uh, so 7 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, to discuss the uh, disclaimer that Wizards of the Coast has placed on uh, its own products. Uh, that are on drive through RPG and um, some questions about that uh, have been raised recently on my channel because I had done a video way back when when it first came out and uh, you know that's both a, a positive thing and a negative thing and it's positive that uh, people are going into the back catalog of this channel and taking a look at some of the things that uh, you know that I had put out there so uh, it's good to see that it's still coming up in the algorithm and you know still coming across uh, people's feeds um, the uh, the negative of that really is that uh, I have to go back and re-explain which I don't mind doing but uh, you know going back and re-explaining why that uh, particular disclaimer and the way that it is worded is uh, is problematic uh, so uh, to use their terminology it's problematic and um, and that's what my discussion will be uh, tonight uh, so I already have a couple of people who have committed to actually coming on in the studio and talking about it with me so that will be uh, really good as well and um, still gonna keep on pushing this one forward um, as far as recording time so we can see that it uh, does upload properly. I will also be talking about um, sometime this uh, this afternoon. I'll be talking about the complete guide of villains for AD and D Second Edition, and then um, I will get back into doing my shorts of my uh, seventh uh, seventh bookshelf. Uh, covering all of my second edition uh, materials, so I'll get back into covering that, and um, and also during the week now. Now that I'm in between uh, conventions, uh, I will have time to start focusing on uh, putting up videos talking about the gaming sessions that I'm running currently. So I have a Castles and Crusades gaming session that I run on Tuesday nights. I have a uh, I have a Friday Night Castles and Crusades game that I play in that's bi-weekly um, as a player. And then I have a Shadow Dark campaign that, um, you know, that I launched a couple of weeks ago. Uh, actually, probably closer to two and a half months ago. But we've had several uh, hiccups and restarts and, and whatnot with it. So I'm hoping to get that nice and steady with a core group of four or five players. And, uh, and see that that runs much more smoothly before I actually start um, either recording the play sessions for actual plays or, uh, or even live streaming it uh, using Restream, uh, which is another thing that I, I included in the, some of the modifications I've made on the channel 
is that I switched from StreamYards uh, solely due to the cost of uh, its increase um, to Restream, which I'm actually starting to get the knack of it. And I'm actually liking Restream, not just because it's, it's cheaper, um, but because uh, some of its features are actually more, you know, I'm finding to be more useful, a little bit easier to, uh, easier to use, and, um, and that's going pretty well, actually. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, please let me know how that goes tonight. Uh, that'll be the third time that I'm live streaming since I switched to Restream. So, um, so hopefully my experience with the program uh, continues to allow me to expand that for your viewing pleasure. And uh, again, I, I have all the functions that I had with StreamYards. Uh, I can have up to 10 people on the studio. I can, uh, you know, I can share content on the screen there and I can import my own images and everything on there as well. So that's working really well. Um, I will be looking for a uh, for a template, an overlay uh, to put on there so that I don't have to keep on switching that up all the time. I'd like to have an overlay that, uh, you know, is com completely, you know, seated with uh, unscripted and unchained RPG reviews. So something of its own that is unique to it. So I will be looking for different programs to see how to go about uh, making one of those and uh, and if you're familiar with any that's really easy to use and such because I'm not a computer whiz um, but if you can find anything out there or, or you've used anything that uh, makes that really easy please feel free to drop that uh, you know mention in a comment section on any video uh, or any of my live streams for certain because that's the best place to put them in so um, I am going to wrap this up. Thanks for joining. I hope that this uploads nice and fast. I'm going to let them know that it was uh, an eight minute, uh, eight minute video and see how long an eight minute video takes to upload to the channel. So um, as always, feel free to comment in the comments section. Um, you subscribe if you hadn't subscribed, hit the alerts so that you get alerts for new content dropping. Um, I will be putting some stuff in the community tab as well. And, uh, you know, so yeah, you'll see a lot more activity on the channel now that I'm not gearing up for a convention until January. You have a great one. Take care.